I'm Yanelli, also known as Miss Be Helpful, with another FinCap Friday brought to you by NGPF. Technology has made people more and more accustomed to instant gratification. Ordering food through an app, getting groceries delivered to your house, or having an Uber or Lyft pick you up just a few minutes after requesting it, these are all things that weren't possible in the early 2000s. And now, early payday apps or advanced payday apps are making it just as easy to get your paycheck whenever you want it instead of having to wait for payday. There are three types of advanced payday apps. Some of them are available to anybody, like the Earnin app. It's open to anyone, but you do need to have a fixed payment schedule or a checking account that you link to the app. Some other apps are sponsored by employers, like Daily Pay or Pay Active. Your employer would have to sign up for these and then offer the program or the app to all of its employees. This is considered to be a workplace benefit. Finally, there are online banks or programs that offer low cost or free loans and paycheck advances. Some of these will even allow you to overdraw your bank account up to a certain amount of money without a penalty. These services include Dave and Money Lion. They offer varying amounts based on either a preset limit or a portion of how much you make at work. But what's the difference between these new payday apps and traditional payday loans? That's easy, the fees. Payday loans charge fees that are so high, they're actually banned in some states. But where they are allowed to operate, payday lenders issue small loans like in the amount of $500 and it has to be paid back within 14 to 30 days. Then they charge around $10 to $30 for every $100 borrowed once fees and interest are added up. The high cost and short repayment term can result in payday loans having an annual percentage rate or APR of nearly 400%. Even the worst and highest rate credit cards only have an APR of about 30%. Lots of people are hopeful that these new advanced payday apps will disrupt that traditional payday lending business, giving workers early access to their emergency cash, which is really helpful, especially in the middle of a pandemic. But some experts are saying that even though it is better than expensive payday lending, it's still something people need to be careful about using because at the end of the day, these apps are not providing a long-term solution. The money can help with a one-time emergency, but you shouldn't rely on using these apps all the time because then it means you're probably not putting any money into a savings account. And that's a sign that you might not have a good handle on your personal finances.